Hey folks, Nitno here. Today we're taking a look at the top base buildings for a solo player. We will be focusing on a number of buildings and discussing their pros and cons. This video was created on a vanilla daisy server with no mods, therefore the bases should work on both PC and console. If you're new to base building, make sure to also check out my base building guide, I'll link that for you in the top right and below in the description. This video is organized using the chapter feature, allowing you to quickly skip around the video by building. If you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Quickly before we start, I would just like to put things in perspective. As a solo player, defending your base will be difficult if a determined group of players finds it. It's always advised to have a secondary stash nearby, such as a buried stash in the ground or a stick shelter in the woods. I recommend approaching base building as something fun to do, but remember that in DayZ, most bases are temporary. You can also make more than one base so that if you get raided, you have another stash to fall back on. Basically, try not to put all your eggs in one basket. Lastly, before we start, I wanted to make sure you're aware of some best practices when building a base. In this video, I will mainly be placing one gate as an entrance and exit. The more gates you can add, the stronger your base will be. One gate is a good place to start, but you may want to expand your base in the future to make it harder to raid. Windows can also be a weak point, and players can often crawl through some windows with enough trickery. That is why I often try to board up any window I can with a fence. Open windows can also lead your base to be sabotaged, where enemies simply want to blow up all of your stash by lobbing nades in the window. All right, thanks for hanging in there with me. Let's get into building some bases. Starting off, we have the three floor barn with a red roof. This base can be locked up with two gates, but to make it truly secure, you could add part of a watchtower to each side. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now if you see here, there is a gap on top of the fence. A player could boost up and crawl through the gap with enough trickery. I wanted to quickly point out a mistake that can happen. Take a look at the poles sticking out of my watchtower. If it's clipping the walls, it will not let you build a lower fence. Move your watchtower kit back slightly so that it's not clipping the doorway. Although there is a small gap, players will not be able to get through. Alright, we added the lower fence to the top floor of the watchtower. If you give it a quick test, players will not be able to pass through the poles. Therefore, if raiders do try to boost, they won't be able to get through any gaps. Now, let's take a tour of the base. Inside, we have two watchtowers to climb up, a second floor with plenty of space for barrels, a third floor window hole to spy on players with, And then the same thing on the other side. Down below, we have enough rooms to add tents as well. All in all, this is an excellent choice for a base. Next up, we have the Beige Inn to check out. You can start by simply blocking off the open window 
and the front door with a diagonal gate. This will grant you access to the entire first floor and the second floor with a window. If you'd like, you can make a second gate here and try to make this your safe room with more valuable loot. There is one more half open window to block off to have a fully secure base. Now for a tour of what your base could look like, a working fireplace is a big plus for me. Then plenty of room for crates and barrels, as well as your second floor safe room with more room for storage. Then, a window to overwatch from, and even take shots if you can get an angle. Moving on to one of my favorite solo bases, the Dam Base. A cool thing about this base is how hard it is to spot to the average player running by. It is tucked into a corner, and often covered by shadow. The base consists of a gate and part of a watchtower. You even get a beautiful waterfront view. If you wanted to expand, you could make identical bases in the other empty two slots as well. Here is a quick view of some of the storage options inside. This one can be very sneaky, and it's in the building called the Mine Building. There are not many reasons for a player to check this building, as it does not spawn very interesting loot. Block off the door, and inside you have plenty of room for crates and barrels. Again, the door to this building is just not something players would check often. From the outside, it looks very inconspicuous. Lastly, we have the large train station. You are able to get this thing started with just one gate and two fences that you cannot boost over. This base allows plenty of space to upgrade your defenses and add more gates. Let's take a quick tour of the base we have. There is space for two tents and plenty of room for barrels and crates as well. You can add a gate on the opposite side, so you have another exit. Alright, let me know in the comments what your favorite building is to make a base in. If you have any other buildings you think I should cover, let me know as well. Subscribe to the channel, and snipe the like button. Thank you, and have an awesome day. Peace.